So the OnePlus 3 was an amazing device for the price, but its lifespan was short. Now the big dog is the OnePlus 3T. It has a slightly more beefed up processor, a slightly larger battery, and a slightly darker color. Basically, keyword is slightly. It's a slightly upgraded OnePlus 3. Now I've used the Google Pixel XL, the Galaxy S7, and the iPhone 7 Plus within the past few months, and I definitely prefer the OnePlus 3T over them personally. Not just the price, but pretty much everything except the camera, which we'll get to soon. So firstly is the new gunmetal color. It isn't that different from the tree, but for some reason I instantly fell in love with it. I love black and the closer it is to that, the better it is for me. The feel in hand as well is extremely solid and the device is so thin, you hardly ever feel like it's 5.5 inches. Not to mention the device is strikingly handsome and both looks and feels like a gem. Now putting your touch on Android or what you think Android should be is nothing new for smartphone manufacturers. But to me, it seems like OnePlus really knows what they are doing. I'm a huge fan of custom ROMs, custom kernels, and everything to do with modifying and customizing, but I honestly never even felt the need or want for that with the treaty. Oxygen OS looks and feels just like stock Android and has just the right tweaks. Out of the box, there's a lot of stuff you can do at the system level. If you haven't seen my previous video going over some of these, I'll leave it in a card above the video. But to start with, you have a really deep level of customization with the buttons. You can choose between off-screen or on-screen buttons, which has become kind of a staple for OnePlus devices by now. And you also have the ability to change the long press and double tap actions for all buttons, which if you aren't using yet, you're seriously missing out. One thing that surprisingly stood out to me is the call screen. It looks so unique and unlike Android, but I love it. Performance-wise, trust me when I say you have zero complaints absolutely none. I can without a doubt say it's the snappiest and smoothest device I've ever used. Now the bottleneck for basically everything on a smartphone is the battery life. And here, the treaty doesn't disappoint either. Not just the fact that dash charging is ridiculously fast, even faster than the S7, but battery life itself is impeccable. I've been using the treaty for over a month now and I've never been able to kill the battery before the end of the day, even with heavy use including that day this week when Facebook decided to mess up and ramp up everyone's CPU to full throttle for a few hours. Now, I really love this phone, but not everything is perfect. Don't get me wrong, the camera can take some amazing shots, but coming from an S7, a Google Pixel, and an iPhone 7 Plus, it's an obvious downgrade. The shots themselves don't look too bad, but it just isn't up to par with the best. Of course, a camera by itself doesn't make a good photo, but when coming to smartphone cameras where you just like to pull out your phone and snap a good photo with one try, I can't promise that with the Treaty. That being said though, the Treaty is still 100% my favorite device that I've ever used. Previously, my favorite device was the old Nexus 5, and nothing could fill the gap that phone left in my life after I sold it. Not the S7, not the OnePlus 2, not the LG G4, not the Google Pixel. But with the Treaty, I think I finally got back a device that fills that gap. I love it that much. So thank you guys so much for watching.